This video is Ubuntu LAMP Server 12.10 Part 1. Download and install into VirtualBox. Part 2 will deal with configuring the setting and making verifying that the LAMP server works. That is that Linux, the Apache, the MySQL, and the PHP all work. The outcomes for this video are to download a 64-bit Ubuntu Server 12.10 from the Ubuntu website. If you have a 32-bit host machine, download the 32-bit server instead, and everything should work the same. Second, create an Ubuntu 12.10 virtual guest. And third, install Ubuntu LAMP server 12.10 into the Ubuntu virtual guest. That includes Linux, Apache, web server, MySQL, and the PHP. Requirements, VirtualBox 4.2 plus, an internet connection, and enough memory to run both Ubuntu 1210, 512 megabytes, and your host operating system. Now, the minimum required for Ubuntu 1210 is 256 megabytes, but 512 megabytes is listed as standard. Additional info, you've got install preparation from Ubuntu, Ubuntu basic security, and Ubuntu general security. This is Ubuntu's home page. This is where you go to start downloading your Quanto Quetzal server. So click on download. Click on Ubuntu server. For latest feature, choose Ubuntu server 12.10, get Ubuntu 12.10, 64-bit version. Starting, save the file. But you have to keep track of where you save it because you're going to use it when you install Ubuntu. Click OK. In this case, it goes in the mic download. It's Ubuntu 12.10 server AMD 64 ISO. You click on Save. If you have a 32-bit computer, you probably will need to download a 32-bit Ubuntu server version. Here the download is almost complete. One item here that you may want to take a look at is take a look at the components available that will work with Ubuntu. And we'll just click right here. This lists the top 15 companies, Intel, ATA, and NVIDIA. Component catalog contains bytes from 248 manufacturers. These are the top 15 makes. Components are also available by category. So if you have a problem, you can kind of look and see uh, if you know what you have in your hardware machine. You can kind of look and see what kind of support you can get. So that's the server down. Next up is uh, setting up a uh, virtual machine for the server. In this section, I'm going to configure a guest operating system for a Quanto Quetzal 64-bit server in VirtualBox. A 32-bit server is basically the same. So we're going to click on New. I'm going to give it a name. In this case, I'll just call it Quanto Quetzal SRV for Quanto Quetzal Server. Operating system, we're going to put in Linux and then Ubuntu. Click Next. Memory size is 512 megabytes. This is a standard size for a Quanto Quetzal Server. If you have a desktop, it should be 768 megabytes, 32-bit or 64-bit, it's the same. Click Next, create a virtual hard drive, create Next, VDI, Next, dynamically allocated, basically dynamically allocated, doesn't use up a lot of your hard drive, it only uses up as much hard drive as the files uh, that are loaded into the uh, Quanto Quetzal server and not keep empty space on your host hard drive. Click Next. Here I'd like to put in about a 20 megabyte. That way we've got some room to play with it if we need to. Click Create. So here we have Quanto Quetzal Serve. In order to get this thing going we're going to have to go to Storage. We're going to have to find that ISO file that we downloaded or the Quanto Quetzal Server file that we downloaded. In this case I've got Ubuntu Server AMD, there's 24, so I'm going to have to choose and find it. In this case, they'll be in um, 
mic downloads and here it is once it's chosen click open that's what's required there click OK also because this is a server on your network setting if you want other computers to talk to this machine set this to bridge adapt adapter instead of NAT just let it pick this out of magically which is the I've got a number of different NIC settings on the machine so click OK now I'm ready to go ahead and start installing that'll happen in the next section to begin the installation of Ubuntu 12.10 server into Quanto Quetzal's SRV simply right click and click on start up will pop your virtual box virtual machine manager here and you've got a choice of languages in this case I will pick English now you have a choice different types of installs or test of memory or boot from first hard disk basically you see a mouse there but that really doesn't work you have to use the arrow key to go up and down click on install Ubuntu server one item if you take a look up here and it says the base memory is 512 megabytes if you want this install to go faster my suggestion is give it a 1024 or 2048 or some big amount of memory and the install will go faster than with 512 but in this case I'm showing you that 512 will work it's a standard supposedly it will work with only 256 megabytes of memory but I, as I my understanding is that install will go even slower than 512. So let's go back here. We've got English as a language. We'll select United States. Don't worry, we won't, we won't be watching the screen the whole time. I will uh, cut pieces of it out, but anytime a decision is made, I will include a decision. You take keyboard layout, select no, unless you want to go through a couple of screens. And again, configure the keyboard, English US. Configure the keyboard again, English US. Loading additional components. Up comes configure the network screen. In this case, we're going to have the host name. In this case, we're going to use. Quanto Quetzal SRV. Uh, use the same name as created in the Oracle Virtual Machine, does not have to be. Then hit Tab for Continue, and then Enter for Continue. Full name for user. In this case, I'm going to type in my first name. Tab for Continue, or you can just simply hit Enter. You don't have to hit Tab, but it just goes right on. A password and then the password and re enter the password again. Encrypt your home directory. My choice will be no. This is your time zone choice. In this case, it's picked America, New York. I select yes. Detecting disks and all other hardware. Loading additional components again. Starting up the partitioner. Partitioner divides up the hard drive space. And the partitioning method we're going to use is the default. Guided use entire disk and set up LVM or logical volume manager. There's only one disk in this virtual machine. You didn't create more than one disk. 21.5 gigabytes ATAV box hard disk. Now it's asked you partition disk. It's asked right to change it to disks. You've got a choice no, but we're going to do a shift tab or just simply a tab and select yes and hit enter. It asks for how much you want on this uh, partition and we just, if this is acceptable, just hit enter. 
again, it asks you if you want to write the changes to a disk. In this case, we'll hit tab to go to the yes. Hit enter. Configure the package manager. Here it asks for HTTP proxy information. In this case, there is none, so I'll simply go on to it. Enter and continue. Configuring tasks, cell or task select. In this case, I'm going to choose install security updates automatically. You can pick no automatic updates. A managed system with landscape is a system where you pay a monthly fee to Ubuntu to uh, help manage your server. That's for uh, if you really need some uh, strong security. Make your choice and click. Software selection. In this case, we choose which software we want to install with the server. Since this is going to be a LAMP server, of course, we're going to choose Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Use the spacebar to make a choice. In this case, I'm going to choose Open SSH Server, down arrow, LAMP Server, and then Tab to continue. You can make your own choices of, for what kind of server you want, but this is how you set up a LAMP server. And the install will happen automatically. After the install, we'll verify that everything is working and solve any problems that might occur. Configuring MySQL Server 5.5. You're asked for a password. Of course, you want to put in a password. You may not want to, but uh, depending. In this case, I put in a password. Hit enter for continue and then Put in the password again and continue again. Install the Grub bootloader on a hard disk. You've got a choice here to install the bootloader to the master boot record, and we're going to pick yes because we've only got one disk. You may make a different choice. Finish the installation. Installation is complete. We'll hit continue and restart. Ubuntu Quanto Quetzal server is restarting. Got some messages about what's occurring. One of the messages says, could not reliably determine the server's fully qualified domain name, FQDN. That'll be taken care of in the next video. Just make sure that we can log in. Now this server is running and it's working. The next video will cover how to do updates, take care of the FQDN, verify that all PHP, the web server, and MySQL are working. Thank you.